Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a game in which I defeated an enemy. So I was white and the enemy was black. So I played e4 and he replied with e5. And in this position I played knight to f3 just attacking this e5 pawn in the center. And he played knight to c6 defending this pawn on e5. I played the move bishop to c4 the Italian game and here he played knight to f6 and here I went for attack with knight to g5 I'm threatening knight into f7 here d5 is the best move for black but here he played bishop to c5 there is a beautiful trap in this line if white takes knight into f7 I took knight into f7 and he played bishop into f2 check. Here king into f2 is a bad move because knight into e4 and black will go for tax. So I played here king to f1 which is the best move. And here he played queen to e7. And here I just simply took this rook on h8 with knight into h8. And here the enem played b5. It's a dubious move. I didn't understand the idea of this move. I played bishop into b5, but here the engine shows that bishop to f7 was slightly better. After king f8 and king into f2, white would have more advantage. Anyway, I played bishop into b5, and here he played knight to d4, just attacking this b5 bishop. Here I defended this bishop with bishop to c4 and he played d5. I took this pawn on d5 without looking at this move bishop to g4 and here he played bishop to g4. And I now here had no other options rather than taking this king into f2 as this queen is trapped. I took it king into f2 and bishop into d1 rook into d1. And here black played long castle he is now trying to take this knight to knight h8 but i played c3 here now this knight on d4 is under attack and here he played knight to e4 check i played king to e3 just forking double attacking this both the knights one on d4 and on e4 and here he played knight to c2 check now this rook is gone and I just simply took this knight on e4 with king into e4. And now he played queen to h4 check. I have to play king to d3. And I played also. And knight into a1. Just he took this. And now I defended this knight on h8 with knight to f7. He played queen to h5 just attacking this knight on f7. I just defended it with rook to f1. Now rook to f8 just attacking this knight again doesn't work after knight to d6 check. Pawn takes and rook into f8 will be a better position, a winning position for white. So here he played e4 check. Now he is trying for tax and I just simply took this with king to e4. Here he played rook to e8 check. I played king to d4. Now I'm trying to get rid of all the checks possible for black. Here he played queen to g4 check and king to c5. And now his engine shows that white is now experiencing a better position. And here black played queen to g2. And here I played bishop to a6 check. Now I'm forcing black to play king to b8. If he plays moves like king to d7, there will be much attacks with bishop to b5 and this rook is gone. So king to b8 is forced and I have played d4. Just opening up this bishop's diagonal so that I can attack in the future. Here he played queen into, b, queen into h2, just taking up this pawn. And I here played bishop to f4, 
Now I have developed this bishop also and attacked this queen. Here he played queen into b2. And here I played just topping up this check, queen to b6 check with bishop to b5. And also I have attacked this e8 rook. He has, he played here rook to f8 just attacking this knight on f7. And here I played a brilliant move. Can you find it? Yes, it's a bishop sacrifice now. Bishop into c7 check. Yes, Stockfish suggests it as a brilliant move. He plays king into c7 and d6 check. This king has to move to b8. And I here played d7. Now d8 queen is being threatened now. He played king to c7 in order to stop it. But here comes another move. d5. Now d6 check is threatened. And here he missed it. He played queen to h2 thinking that he can stop this d6 check. But knight is there. He, I played d6 check. And this king moved to b7 and I promoted this to a queen. And now rook into d8 and I played knight into d8 check. Now this king moved to c8 and I here played knight to c6 just defending it. Here he played queen to h5 check. I played king to b4 just stopping all the checks. I can play king to f5 then. He played knight to c2 check. Now all the checks are blocked after king to a5 here he played king to d7 just moving his king and trying to take this pawn on d6 and here he played rook to f8 now rook to d8 is threatened he played king into d6 but rook to d8 now and this king moved to c8 and here he played again rook to f8 just trying to attack and here he played queen to c5. I played rook to a8. Now this pawn on a7 is under attack. He played queen to b6 check. I played king to a4. And here he played queen to e3. It's a blunder in this position after rook into a7. And here he resigned. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.